Okay, this is gonna be my last video for the series. It's gonna be a self-portrait. Um, again, self-portrait can be very flexible. Um, it kind of depends on what you wanna do. It does have to include your face um, somehow, but it, it doesn't have to be you know, super realistic. Um, it can just be like a section of your face. Um, if you, um, I would encourage you to make it fun, you know, cause just enjoy, <laughs> enjoy life. You know, or, you know, find, you know, art is supposed to be an expression, you know, so find, find an expression, you know, you could be, you know, kind of sassy, you could be mad, you could be sad, um, you could try to be comical, you could be just anything. Um, if you just want to do a straight up self portrait, that's perfectly fine too, you can easily get an A. Um, you can also take a photo of it and then run it through filters. You know, that I don't, I don't consider that cheating um, in our day and age with, with, uh, with, with technology and and in your ability to take photos, you know, um, you know what, that, that you've been doing most of your life or videos most of your life, um, you know more apps than I probably do on how you could modify things. Um, so it's up to you. Um, this is the one that I'm going to do. Um, there is a, a app sort of or a, a program on my computer that can move like adjust your head, you know, and stuff. My my biological kids. Um, really enjoy messing around with that um, and they've had a good time with it. So so this one just enlarges your forehead. I, I hope I hope you don't think I look like this. Um, but I thought it was just funny. Um, I did this during fourth quarter uh, last year. We had to hold up a book um, that we were reading. Um, I wasn't really reading anything, but I, I read the book um, kind of thing. So so I held up a Star Wars book um, that I that I enjoyed um, a number of years ago. So um, so I'm going to use this one. Um, so I'm, I'm going to keep mine, you know, somewhat comical. I might end up, you know, I might put alien stuff on there since I kind of look like an alien. I might try to stay true to the colors. I might, you know, skew even more and modify even more of it. I don't, I don't know yet. Um, I'm just going to kind of go in on it and hopefully it'd be fun and um, have a background. You know, just don't leave it, you know, the color, you know, of, of, of the wood back here. Everything needs to be covered with paint. You just don't leave a section just because just because you want to, you have to cover it, you know, with something. And, and again, the technique I'm trying to work with you on you is, is not over blending, you know, kind of thing. Um, so, so I, I guess I do want you to kind of consider that as you are working with something. However, if you really want to really, uh, you know, get like a picture perfect on here and, and obviously, you know, you look like an amazing painter and you're able to do that, you know, that's, I'm not going to argue with you. Um, but otherwise, you know, stay to the idea of not over mixing um, kind of thing and, and have colors and again, just have fun with it. Okay, the rest of are gonna switch over to time lapse, um, enjoy the music and let's see what we get. Okay, I got mine done. Um, this was the one that took me the longest. Um, I think I did it maybe in about, uh, I don't know, two hours-ish, um, maybe two and a half, um, maybe three, but I don't think so. I think it was about between two and two and a half hours. Um, again, this is, this is how I interpret self-portrait. So the, the bare minimum is just it has to include your face or a part of your face. You know, if you want to focus in on just your eye, you know, or like a section of your of your mouth or, you know, I don't know. Um, you can kind of come up with something um, on that because there's there's plenty of, of room for, you know, artistic interpretation. OK, um, I, I like I like science fiction fantasy stuff. And and I was kind of looking through photos I, I had of myself and this one came through. I was thinking about making my own own photo and doing like a, you know, like a senior, you know, um, photo, I wouldn't go back to my senior photo, but you know, having the hand on the chin, you know, and, and kind of looking serious. Um, but, but I wanted to keep this one light. I wanted to keep it loose. 
Um, drawing, just like you, drawing, drawing yourself makes me nervous, you know? Um, and especially when you're trying to do a demonstration because demonstrations don't go all, all, always um, as well as you would like it to go. Um, I had no idea where this one was gonna end up, you know, but that's, it's also kind of the fun part of it, you know, is, 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 is going in with a you know, kind of an idea, you know, but then just kind of seeing where things go and, and, and using, try to use art as a break. You know, because I know some of you guys are really stressed out with with all your classes and everything, and 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 yes, art is a class, you know, but it is something where you can mentally shift your idea and say this has to be done and instead, you know, instead of saying that, say this is something that I want to do, you know, <clears throat> and use this more as a as a you know something to kind of relax with. It does it get stressful? Yeah, absolutely, it gets stressful. You know, but it's fun. And then when you get done with it, you can look at it, you know, and you're going to, you're going to probably keep this, you know, for a long time. And it's, and it's going to be on Artsonia. Um, so even if you, you know, even if you don't keep it, you know, at least you'll have a digital copy of it. So you can go back and kind of laugh, you know, at some of your stuff. Um, you know, looking at my, my glasses, I had no idea I was going to go that route. You know, um, I could even kind of go in and, and kind of make this look like there's, there's glass inside of here. I did not do that. Uh, I guess that's one thing I would change. Um, um, and if I did that, I probably would wait a few days till this completely dries. Um, and then I would, I would take it after that and, and, and try to give some kind of a, a look to it. Um, if I didn't like the eyes, you know, I would cover the whole thing black, you know, and just make it, you know, like they're real dark shades. If, if you try eyes and it's like, gosh, this, this doesn't look good. <laughs> um, put sunglasses on, you know, kind of thing. And, and you can kind of work around that. Um, if you do eyes, the big thing that I really want to stress um, is you have to add this white speck, you know, kind of like at a like a two o'clock or um, like a like a like a ten o'clock, you know, kind of kind of an angle um, on there. You want to make your eyes look glossy. Um, you want to make them look like they're wet because that is what makes you alive. You know, is that we all have wet eyes um, and we need to have that reflection. Um, if you don't have that reflection, it's gonna does it's not gonna look lifelike, you know. So so even if it's super cartoony like this one is, I still wanted to go in the very last thing that I did and made sure that I had a nice white, small white right there. You can always add a little bit more. I added a little bit too much and I was able to kind of fix it, <clears throat> you know, because I went over in, into the eyebrow. But I think it I think it works. Um, but but you need that, okay. Um, Yours will probably look completely different than this, you know. And as long as as long as it looks, you know, decent and um, looks like you put you know time into it, and you and you show that you are mixing colors. You're not just taking them straight out of the bottle and making this, you know, a solid red, solid blue, solid green, you know, kind of thing. Um, if you want one of your choice ones to be a graphic, you know, kind of thing instead, um, I guess that that's fine. Um, but I want these to kind of stay more of the because again, I, I teach technique. Um, for the most part, you, you typically pick, you know, what you want to draw. Um, like, but, like, but this one's a little different. I'm, I, I mean, I, I am saying do a fruit or vegetable, but you have probably literally hundreds of ideas, you know, with, with fruit or vegetable. Um, and same thing with landscapes. It's very open, you know, it just has some kind of a horizon line. Self portrait, it's got to have your, your face or your head, you know, in it. You know, maybe you're looking away from the camera at an angle and you just kind of catch the tip of your nose. You know, when you have a baseball cap on, that'd be kind of cool. Um, I don't know. There's just there's just so much, and that's what's so fun, you know, about art is, is it just gives a little bit of a window into the kind of person who you are. So, other than that, this is again the last demonstration. I'm not going to demo the choice ones. Um, that that one's just basically, you know, f find something online um, that you like, and again, you you should already have your ideas, you know, approved by this point, but. But again, something online that you like or, or whatever, anything that you do. And the other one is just completely original, um, which could be could be anything. Could be something realistic, could be com something completely abstract, you know, or not objective, um, or it's just lines, shapes, and colors. So um, other than that, um, uh, just again, just shoot me an email if you have any questions and good luck on the project.